Governor, when you look at the landscape, do you think that it is time for Nikki Haley to drop out of the race? And, and do Democrats want the general election what? to begin in earnest? Well, I, I don't know why Democrats would want her out of the race. She's one of our better surrogates. I mean, she's defining the opposition to Trump incredibly effectively. I mean, she's making points I'm applauding every single day about his temperament, his capacity, uh, his you know, unraveling in real time. Uh, and so I think it's I think she's been incredibly effective. So I hope she stays in personally. Uh, but look, at the end of the day, it's Trump. I mean, there's, there's not a state Nikki Haley can win. I mean, let, let's look realistically. You look at this map. I, I, you know, it's beyond me why she wants to continue in this race. But again, I don't want to get in the way with that the way of that. Uh, but Trump clearly is the nominee. Biden administration understands that. The campaign understands that. We understand it at a subnational level, a gubernatorial level. And and that's what we're up against. Yeah. Folks say, oh, they're just cleaning up this place because all those fancy leaders are coming into town. Um, that's true because it's true. But it's also true for months and months and months prior to APEC, we've been having different conversations. Anytime you put on an event, by definition, you know, you, you have people over your house, you're going to clean up the house. You have 21 world leaders, you've got tens of thousands of people coming from all uh, around the globe. Uh, what an opportunity to showcase the world's most extraordinary place, San Francisco. California and many other Western states are experiencing simply unprecedented temperatures. In fact, this heat wave is on track to be both the hottest and the longest on record for this state and many parts of the West for the month of September. Californians, you've stepped up to help in a big way to keep the lights on so far. But we're heading, we're heading to the worst part of this heat wave, and the risk for outages is real and it's immediate. These triple-digit temperatures throughout much of our state are, are leading, not surprisingly, to record demand on the energy grid. Everyone has to do their part to help step up for just a few more days. Individuals, the state, industries, business, all doing their part to help reduce strain on the grid. Now, here's specifically what you can do in the early morning hours, particularly tomorrow and the next day or so, pre-cool your home. Run your air conditioning earlier in the day when more power is available. And we encourage you to close your windows and blinds to keep your home cool as well. And today and tomorrow afternoon after 4 p.m., in particular 4 p.m., please turn your thermostat up to 78 degrees or higher and avoid to the extent possible using any really large appliances. You can visit FlexAlert.org to learn more about what you can do. Californians, you've rallied before, and we can do it again. Keep it up.